How's it going, everybody? I got this humongous box here from JM Bullion. I placed an order a while ago. This was, how long ago was this order? May 27th. So not too long ago, I guess. I'm not sure why the box is this big, because I didn't order anything that huge. But let's get to see what I got. I get I get I'm a sucker for these uh, the email alerts, you know, when when you have accounts at these bullion dealers, they send you an email saying, "Hey, we got a deal on this," and I click on it, and of course I have to buy it. I just have to. But I, there's some some stuff I wanted to get anyway. I got a variety of things. I still don't know why the box is that big, but let's see. So the first thing I got was I saw these and I figured I, I kind of want to get them. These are these are collectibles. These are the Zombic, Zombucks. And these are one one thousandth of a troy ounce of pure silver, which is basically less than a penny's worth of silver. I don't know how much. But I thought they look cool, and these are kind of collectible. Um, there's one Silver Dragons had some made, um, and it's called the Silver Dragon. And those the artwork on those is fantastic. I got a few of those. I got four of those, um, so I can give them to my kids and then keep one for myself. Hopefully the exposure works good on this. So I got one of the. This is the Kangarooin. And this one is the Kuka Buried. It's kind of a play on the Kookaburra. Check out the artwork on this thing. It's so amazing. It's got this cool ribbon that runs down the length of it on both of them. I'm using the Sony A5100 camera to see how well it works. I had to make sure I had to push the recording button. <laughs> I didn't even realize if I'd push the button or not. It's early in the morning and I'm tired. So this is going to be one of those videos where I'm obviously tired. Should have got more sleep. Should have drank more coffee or something. And the last one is the uh, pandemonium. Check out that panda. That is thing. It that zombie panda is pretty cool looking. I don't know which one's my favorite. I think the kangaroo is my, or the uh, pandemonium might be my favorite. These are dated 2026. I wonder why they're dated 2026. That is weird. Because it's 2024 right now. So I got these. What else did I get here? I have to check the slip to see. Alright, next thing I got is some copper. 365 days of copper should like this. Oh man, packing peanuts really? So I got a few different designs. I thought it'd be kind of cool to check some out. This is the 18 a copy of the 1804 dollar. Oh, that's a weird looking back on it. I figured the back was going to be similar to the front. And the next thing I got is happy happy laborless day. Hopefully we're in focus. We probably were before I started messing with it. This got like a three-headed whatever hydra or something like that. Dragon. Looks like wall greens. <laughs> Dragon attacking wall greens. Inflation is coming. Oh, 
Man, I don't know. Hopefully it's focusing. Oh, it looks like I got multiples of this one. There's a nicer looking one. It's got, you can see a little bit better. And the next, I got the uh, Zombux Mortuga. This is uh, like the tortoise one that the Perth Mint, is it Perth Mint that makes them? Not the Zombux, but the actual coin that these are modeled after. Currency of the Apocalypse. I've never been into the Zombuck stuff, but I did like the design of this turtle one, even though I'm not really into turtles. So I figured I'd get uh, some of those. Looks like I got three of these. Four of these, for some reason. So who knows, maybe one of each will make its way into the kid's stack. I'm getting quite a decent stack of copper rounds I just at, tack them onto orders to get over, you know, the $200 threshold. The last one is a copy of the $1921. These are already starting to tarnish, but that's fine. Oh, it flips like a dollar as well. Look at that. I don't know. Do you guys stack any copper as, like, part of your strategy? I know 365 does. I've never really paid that much attention to it. It's kind of cool to get them every once in a while. It's kind of a novelty. And these aren't these aren't really worth the price because I don't know what, what's copper like four dollars a pound and these cost like what did I pay for these um, actually the happy laborless day these ones were two dollars which is decent price for the rounds but it still doesn't make it make up for the spot price I mean this isn't something you'd want to buy and be able to sell back to like a I don't know, a refinery or something like that. All right, next, we got the uh, Zombux is done. The next item I got is from the Royal Mint. I showed off the uh, 10 ounce version of this the other day. Now I've got the one ounce, it's still in the factory seal. I should probably put this in a capsule. Actually, I'm going to grab one really quick. Stand by. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm back. I'm coming back. Luckily, they're just on the other side of my desk. I still have that huge box of 250 capsules that I bought. If you haven't seen that video, I bought this huge box. It's, in the, it's like the size of a rifle box. Like if you're getting a rifle shipped to your dealer for transfer. It's that size of a box and it's full of the uh, capsules all laid out flat. I'm trying to avoid it, touching it just to keep it from uh, tarnishing. There it is out of the plastic. It's pretty cool. I like the Royal Mint stuff so Hopefully it doesn't milk spot up like a lot of their stuff has been doing. But I always thought Royal Mint is like my favorite mint. Even though I'm not a Star Wars... I mean, obviously I like the movies, but I'm not a fan of collecting the Star Wars themed stuff. But Royal Mint put this out. I like the Royal Mint. So I got one of those. And then the last thing I got was gold. I like gold. And this is the... 10 Corona Austrian gold coin. These are original. They're not restrikes. Let's see if I can... I think there's a certain year that's like a restrike. Please focus. Please. There we go. Let's see how well you're going to focus on this tiny thing. I'm having trouble reading it so small and these and it's not in that great a condition I'm gonna have to get a jeweler's loop to check out what date this is oh cool date it's 1911 the best date this I'm gonna have to get a different lens for 
macro to be able to see this stuff better. I'll have to do some investigating. I'm not a camera guy, but I'm becoming one, so... This is about a tenth ounce of gold. And this was $251.81. It's not bad for a small piece of gold. I, I like the European gold. Circulated gold coins are kind of cool. They have a little bit added um, value because they're they're not made anymore. Unless you get restrikes, then I don't like them as much. But they, there are some really cool designs. So that's what I got. This whole order cost three hundred and forty-five dollars. No, three hundred forty. Yeah, three hundred forty-two oh two. It's not bad for a variety of stuff. The copper is like probably the copper and those these uh, Zombucks notes are probably the worst deal, the highest premium. But this wasn't bad. This uh, Star Wars was well thirty-six ninety-three. So since the spot price is coming back down. I, bought, I think the spot price was at 32 when I bought this, so it was like a hefty premium on this. But I only bought one. I'm not. I don't buy these to stack as like strategic wealth preservation. That's more like just this kind of stuff that I get at the uh, coin shop in the junk bin. I guess I've rambled enough. That's what I got from Jam Bullion. I don't order a lot from there anymore, it seems, because it just not not that cheap. They they don't seem to have like the killer deals. It used to be they were the cheapest around, but I guess as companies get bigger and bigger, they uh, they start having to raise their prices because they have to have more infrastructure and they've got to hire more people and whatnot. But that's about it. I don't know what else to talk about. I have to think of something else to talk about. But I got a, I got some gold, got some silver, got some copper, well-rounded stack. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't let the kangaroo in get you. Have an awesome day.